today. Now, going on to the culture part of the podcast, you have Target's Pride Month. Well, that helped sales fall for the first time in six years, which is, yeah, that, that's pretty damn, that, that's pretty unprecedentedly bad. Now, it looks like the, this was is specifically in regard to the quarterly sales. And, I mean, just in one week of Pride Month, their stock dropped by $9 billion. They also know that their foot traffic dropped by 4.8% last fiscal quarter. Now, it looks like their stores are open for the prior year. They dropped as well. And they're not only are their store sales going down by about 5.4% last fiscal quarter, but also online went down by 10.5%. Now, they, it is important to note that they did beat Wall Street's expectations for their profit, but they're not doing so hot. In the past year, their stock's gone down 27%. That's not good by any means, especially when you're competition like Walmart, they're doing pretty darn good these days. Now. There's a lot of speculation of, you know, why, 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 why this year? I mean, a lot of these companies, including Bud Light with their business blunder, they've had price sections for sometimes years and sometimes decades. Bud Light's been sponsoring parades for decades. That wasn't really the difference. The same with this, I believe. With Target, they've had pride for many years. They're famous, well, I would say famously, I know company headquarters because I might not know the footballs being thrown or the, ba the balls on the fields, but I do know some business stuff. So they're headquartered over in Minnesota, very more left-leaning company. And they've had gay pride and pride merchandise at Target for several years. We didn't see much of a pushback at all. In fact, most people just kind of accepted it as the norm of Fortune, you know, all these big companies. The big difference this year was one, targeting the kids, pun moderately intended, although it's so morally vacuous, it shouldn't be a joke, as well as you had trans gear. Now, when I and satanic materials, when I say satanic, I don't mean being, I'm not being bombastic or exaggerating. I mean, they literally hired a self-proclaimed Satanist designer who made materials, including a pin of Satan with the written out Satan, um, what was it? Satan preserves your pronouns or what was it? Satan respects your pronouns, something like that. So they had, and they also had the tuck friendly swimsuits. So the swimsuits that were designed for what was it? It was for biological men who wanted to be women, so there's extra material so they could tuck their junk. Sorry if it got too graphic right there. But in my opinion, those are the two or three products that they did not have last year that they did have this year. And a lot of those products were right adjacent to the kids section as well. In addition to having the Pride merchandise for kids, I think that was another delta between last year and this year. So you saw a very, pretty fair boycott from people in the middle as well as as this has become a political issue, more the political conservatives. And I think a lot of people just realize Target, you don't need it. No one needs to shop at Target. It's, I, I used to always call it Walmart for rich people or Walmart for people that have too much money. Because it's pretty much everything that they have, but it's just more expensive. Is the quality there? Debatable. But it's mostly junk you don't need. And if there's something I drill into the head of every person in America, I would have to say to them, please know the difference between a need and a want. Because unfortunately, many people don't understand that difference anymore. But that's just, you know, my three cents. It used to be two cents, but 40 year hyperinflation, I should, chart, I should be four cents, but just three cents. Although it is free to click that subscribe button, trying to get to 3000 subscribers by the end of the month, greatly appreciate your support. But going back to Target, that was a big difference between their merchandise last year compared to this year. Now, they acquiesced a little bit, they moved it to the back of the store, but in doing that, they pissed off people who are politically on the left side of the political aisle. So similar to Bud Light, they managed to not only piss off the people in the middle and people on the right, but they also pissed off their, I would say for Target, more of their traditional core customer, which is people who are more politically ideologically on the left side. So Target knows they messed up because they actually recently, the CEO, they actually admitted we're going to carry, we're going to be more careful on evaluations of what products we carry. And another issue Target has is, again, not only is their stuff more expensive than Walmart or competitors, but it's mostly discretionary. So discretionary in terms of retail, it's crap that is not consumed like food or soap or toothpaste. Very stuff that's more tangible, although I'd argue most of it is still disposable. In fact, I would say most of, I would say every target item in the store is discretionary, but think of, you know, discretionary things being clothing, home decor, toys, technologies. And that's the majority of what Target has. 
which traditionally was good because you don't make a lot of groceries. The grocery industry is very razor thin. It's like 2% profit margin. So the only way they could save business is by selling stuff stuff. However, during economic turmoil like we have now, people decrease, I was gonna say fiscally responsible people, decrease the amount of discretionary stuff they buy and focus more on the things you need to buy. Like literally, well, I was gonna say carbs are overrated, so perhaps not bread, but maybe whey protein, organic beef. What's that a good thing people like to eat? Uh, spinach, the good stuff like that. And that's where Walmart is better because they have better prices. And again, I don't care if spinach, organic spinach, I don't care if it comes in a Target bag or a Walmart bag. As long as it's the same net weight, why not? Why would I not buy the Walmart one? But I digress. They're in a little bit of issue. They're in a little turmoil at Target. Will they be able to recover and how they do it? That would be the more interesting question. But culturally speaking, it's fascinating to see another boycott having a fiscal impact on a company when traditionally you really didn't see much except a couple of angry people online, or at least when it comes to boycotts from people who are ideologically more on the right side of the aisle. Will it continue and get worse for Target? I can't help but think it will, but let me know in the comments section how 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 low do you think it'll go? Also, it doesn't help they don't prosecute crime like many traditional left-leaning companies. This it's estimated they're gonna lose at least four hundred million dollars just from things being stolen from Target this year. Yeah, I would say uh they're, they're a huge company. They could take some losses like that, but they definitely need to turn that ship around. How they'll do that, that'll be interesting to see. Time shall tell. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. If you could do us, do us a favor, click that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Also, don't forget to take the time to like and comment. Your feedback is also greatly appreciated. It makes the videos better and better as the feedback makes a critique of everything from the content to the visuals of the increasing better and better. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.